Hello, welcome everybody. This is Raghu Banda or RK Banda. So in this uh, podcast nine, we'll be focusing on the sales line of business. And in this context, we will try to understand some of the machine learning use cases that were developed. Those are embedded into the business processes of SAP S4 HANA or provided as additional machine learning services that are consumed by the SAP S4 HANA intelligent enterprise in the in the context of the huge uh, intelligent enterprise uh, initiative so here uh, before getting into the nuances of uh, the machine learning scenarios in the sales line of business i would like to quickly recap in the last couple of podcasts the podcast 7 and podcast 8 we focused on the finance line of business and the procure line of business right in the finance line of business it is pretty much your heartbeat of your organization because that is where your uh, uh, what do you call your health of an organization is measured in, with the use cases or the scenarios around finance and later on in the procure line of business we did discuss about the logistics or your uh, scenarios around your procure line of business where it is pretty much needed needed on a daily basis how you run your organization and now we are going to be discussing more on the sales line of business which is pretty much more focused on if i go in that terms it is more about the front office or the front facing organization right like front facing uh, scenarios of an organization this is or i would call the the wholesale um, breadwinner for your organization this is where it will help you keep the lights on this is where you are making sure that your top line revenue estimates or the top line revenues are being realized without without a proper sales organization you cannot even run any business so your sales managers or sales representatives are very key in any of the businesses that we are uh, running around uh, whether it is in your enterprises or your smaller uh, whether it is a big enterprise or a small enterprise or any kind of business that you run so in this podcast the podcast 9 the focus will be mainly on what are the different machine learning scenarios that are already available that you could use out of the box with sap s4 hana the embedded scenarios are obviously available uh, for no additional price and it is available with the sap s4 hana box and the like always the scenarios that are built out of sap business technology platform are available for an additional Uh, price point right like it is uh, of course there is uh, these are available for all the sap s4 hana customers who have these cpa credits where they can consume these machine learning services though it is very easy to kind of get these things on boarded so let us now go into a bit more details about what are the different scenarios that we want to discuss here so today we will be focusing on three different scenarios from the embedded Uh, scenarios where the sap s4 hana sales processes are enhanced and one scenario where we developed it as a machine learning service building on uh, sap business technology platform and consumed by a service which is sitting in sap s4 hana stack and these scenarios uh, at a high level are the sales quotation scenario which kind of tries to explain you how you can predict the conversion of your sales quotations to a sales order and then there is this other scenario the sales performance where you can try to predict some kind of uh, sales forecast and then there is this other scenario where you could analyze your delivery performance and predict the delivery delays and then the other scenario which is on the uh side by side models or which is developed on the sap business technology platform as a machine learning service but consumed by your sap s4 hana process is the document extraction service or your converting your unstructured data uh into your and creating a sales order out of that so these are the scenarios that we will be kind of diving in a bit more detail 
in today's uh, podcast. Let me take a quick break and then come back. All right, welcome back. Let us now get into the sales quotation conversion probability use case, right? So in this use case, what we are trying to uh, analyze is that what as a sales manager or a sales representative, I always want to make sure that how can I increase my sales volume and how can I make sure that I can better increase the top line uh, revenues for my company or for my firm and this is true for any firm right like whether it is a small firm or a big firm or a medium firm and in any kind of a business so this is where the sales manager or in some scenarios it can be just the sales representative try to understand how he can convert the different sales quotations that he or she might be getting in from so and then see that what percentage of these sales quotations are realistically being converted into a sales order generally what happens is that you will have a lot of sales quotations coming in from the different uh, sources of information a sales representative or a sales manager might have and these sales quotations not all of these sales quotations generally co convert into a sales order some of the sales quotations might be missing some key information there might be just a quotation asking for uh, some of the basic details like what is the priorities and what are the different things that you are available as part of this particular sales order or particular sale or sale item so there might be some of these quotations may not be completely closed and we have to make sure as a sales manager or the sales representative he or she have to make sure that the quotation is complete so that this quotation will have a higher probability rate of being converted into a sales order and generally what happens is that the sales representatives they have to put a generally uh, they had to put a lot of manual effort and they had to put all their experience and expertise when and this is pretty much a very highly time consuming process uh, and generally what happens when you put so much of uh, your uh, experience and expertise that is where these uh, sales representatives will be able to generate or analyze that yeah this particular quotation sales quotation has a higher probability rate of being converted into a sales order and some of these sales quotations might need additional help and they might be escalated to their senior manager or the sales manager or the sales group head and they can go back and see hey this is something is missing and how can we help so these are the things and there is a lot of manual work which is needed by these uh, sales representatives eventually which will run up into the uh, sales uh, managers so with the help of the machine learning service which is embedded into the business process what it does is that it typically kinds of gives analyzes all your historical information that is already available historical system data uh, of all the available sales quotations and how many of these have realistically been converted into a sales order so you have your uh, historical data on the conversion rate and also the sales volume that is available uh, and what are all the sales quotations and then you automatically collect and analyze all these sales data and then the service or the machine learning service uh, which is embedded into the process it predicts what percentage of the sales quotations are realistically being converted into a sales order this will greatly help and then you could increase your sales force efficiency so the sales force your internal sales representatives they can focus they do not need to manually go into each of the sales quotations but they can predominantly pick up those sales quotations which might need help and then they can put more efforts on that they could also uh, this could also help increase the sales quotation conversion rate so rather than focusing on everything they could pick up those sales quotations which might need additional help they can this will ob obviously increase your uh, achievable sales volume 
which is end of the day that is what needed to make more sales or generate more sales and the bot the top line the bigger benefit is that you are uh, predominantly reducing your sales administration costs and this would greatly help any any company or a firm to make sure that your sales force is focusing on the right tasks or the right things that are needed so that you can get in more customers end of the day you need to make sure that you get more customers on board so that your products are being used in a better way so bottom line i think uh, there are three very high level benefits right like you have you will receive you can receive more accurate sales forecasts you can greatly reduce your manual work and analysis needed by your sales representatives and finally you can optimize your sales win and sales loss ratio and this will greatly help you in planning further in your sales uh, planning related tasks or tech, uh, or activities let us take a quick break and then come back and go into the other use case all right let's continue further in the earlier use case we discussed about how you can convert a sales quotation into a sales order right now in this use case we'll go to the next step now that you have a sales order now you know that the sales order is created how can i predominantly try to predict the sales forecast for my company so because this is a a typically very important scenario for any company or for a sales manager the sales planning analysis is a very comprehensive analysis right it requires your sales managers or your sales team uh, very high it's a very highly operational effort it includes collecting data from your system from your external data sources and then you have to formulate these you have to plan etc and then you have to a lot of other things and then you have to add additional human experience into that right from your a particular sales manager or there might be some very interesting or very dynamic sales representatives who can provide more additional human experience data and then you make these predictions right typically what happens is that to achieve greater sales volumes these sales managers have to analyze the sales performance and determine if these particular sales targets can be met or ex exceeded or you have to propose some proper follow up actions in some scenarios you might know that hey this particular sales plan cannot be met i need to make proper adjustments or proper follow up items so that i can at least reach to some percentage of this uh, sales plan or at least i can make these adjustments and can reach to this particular uh, sales plan that was laid out so it, it it also requires a lot of analysis and comparative analysis which has to be done by comparing your actual sales with the planned sales and then eventually increase your current sales volumes the sales managers who are involved here they would also need to not only forecast the value of the sales a particular company expects to make but they also need to uh, come up with this realistic sales targets and then they have to identify or figure out the different ways how they can achieve and there are a lot of humongous amount of challenges that are faced by the sales managers right like this is a i would say this is a very typical problem faced by any organization if you can realistically analyze and predict your sales forecast boom that will be the best case scenario right if you can do your predictions anything above 90% which means that you have cracked that formula of how you can achieve that particular uh, uh, revenue growth and how you can maintain that revenue growth so typically your sales 
this is all dependent on a few factors, right? Your historical sales targets and performance, your sales targets, your sales volume, and then identifying your uh, various uh, relevant influencing factors, and then identify if there are any particular deviations that you will have to make from your planning, and then propose some countermeasures. And then once you do this, obviously you'll come up with a different kinds of benefits that you can come up with this right like you can obviously increase your uh, revenue then it will be you can kind of get a higher revenue growth you can identify more achievable sales targets you can reduce also your sales uh, representatives efforts for analyzing and you can reduce your sales administration costs and then your sales force predominantly can be focused more on selling rather than analyzing or the administrative burdens, right? They, and you can obviously reduce a sales training cost. And this would be a huge benefactor for your uh, sales staff and the support staff uh, who have lesser experience. So this machine learning service will help you provide your support team or your support sales staff with all these benefits so that it can quickly identify, hey, these are the things that are already available. I can pick up and choose the historical benefits, the sales targets. Yes, some of these are easily attainable, but some of these are not. And then you can take these kind of corrective actions. And end of the day, what happens is that you can improve your reliability your uh, reliability factors when you are in your overall sales planning analysis. And this will uh, obviously increase uh, the forecasted values for a sales company, for the sales of a company, and you can exceed or you can ex at least meet the expectations or even exceed the expectations. You can, um, typically what, uh, what it boils down is that you, internally what you're doing is that you're comparing your actual sales volume, predicted sales volume, and planned sales volume and making analysis and then acting accordingly. In a, in a, in a way, you're increasing your uh, sales planning accuracy. So these this is uh, one of those use cases, which is if the proper amount of data, if the proper amount of data set is available and is fed into the system, and if you can analyze this, with the service that is available embedded into the SAP S4 HANA process, you can really make wonders and you can really kind of uh, create some great predictions about how your sales forecasting might look like and how you where there are bottlenecks that you will need to address and improve it. So um, let us take a quick break and then come back and discuss the next use case in this uh, line of business. All right, welcome back. Let us now continue further. Now that we have discussed the use cases which are focused on predicting the conversion of a sales quotation into sales order, and then later on we discussed about the predictions of uh, how you can analyze the sales forecasting. Now let us take go to the next step, which is uh, where now that the sales order item is created, sales order is there, and now, if this particular sales order has been attended in the right way, or the sales order item has been delivered in the right way, if, the, if there is any particular delivery delay attached to this particular sales order item, if you can predict the delay in that, it would be very much helpful for the customers. This will greatly help the customers and then increase the customer satisfaction, right? So this is predominantly what we are doing here is uh, doing on the sell side of the things. On the buy side of the things, in the earlier podcast in procurement, we have discussed about the buy side of the things in the procurement line of business where a purchasing department is buying the things and then we have done the delivery delay of a particular item, a spare part or an item, right? Now on the sell side of the things, even on the selling side, you should be in a position, your organization should be in a position to understand, have I kept my promise? Yes, 
a sales quotation has been created into a sales order and this particular sales order is now being de uh, delivered or attended so is this particular sales order item attended in the right way you have a lot of data in this right you have all the historical sales order data you have your all sales orders you can definitely provide or uh, analyze your root cause analysis if there is any particular delay in a particular item and you can predict if there is any delay in the sales order item, you could provide uh, ahead of time measures to ensure a timely delivery by trying to address the underlying problems or trying to, trying to come up with some alternative mechanisms. This is very important because this keeps your customers in line because you have already sold this item. You have already created a sales order item and then your customer is already there. You do not want to lose the customer by creating some delivery delays, or you can at least ahead of time analyze these delivery delays and then measure it so that you are able to serve your customer better. As this is one of the key aspects, right, for a sales representative, you need to understand which sales orders are delayed and find the root cause for that delay and fix it. This is very high, highest priority for any sales representative because the next time this particular sales representative, sales representatives are, their just daily job is that they go sell the things and then again, they always want a repeat customer. If you have to go back to the customer, you had to make sure that your earlier sales order is delivered with the highest quality at the right time. And if there are any issues, they have been attended. So these are, typical challenges which are addressed, which are encountered by these uh, sales representatives on a, day, on a daily basis. There are delivery delays. Of course, not, no system is perfect. There, are, there will be delivery delays, but if you can anticipate ahead of time and take the appropriate actions, that is where the beauty of this machine learning service lies. You can understand the delivery delay and then you can understand this and so that there is no lack of transparency, right? Like which orders will be delayed, which orders are uh, going to be in time. And so that there is a proper manual, uh, there is a proper tracking mechanism and then you can address the needs. There are huge benefits for a business from the business standpoint, right? And the customers will, I don't, I don't even need to talk into the customer benefits. Right. Obviously, the customer, the sat, the customer satisfaction will be very high if you can ahead of time anticipate if there is a delay and provide an alternative mechanism, or at least inform the customer that yeah, there is a delivery delay, but my uh, we are going to address it. So this will greatly increase your Salesforce efficiency, and it will uh, make sure that the customers stay with you. It is a, it is very important that this is addressed so that it will increase your customer retention rate. And this kind of a changing uh, landscape that currently we are going through, right? Like we have uh, things keep changing at a very fast pace. You have different kinds of uh, startups or different kinds of uh, services being available on a regular basis, on a quarterly basis. And that too, with the current pandemic situation or the COVID situation, a lot of digital experiences are happening and this becomes even more important so that you do not lose track of your customer and you make sure that your customer is the king. Customer is always the king, right? Like you have to make sure that your customer you are retaining your customer and making sure that the satisfaction is uh, maintained. So this is the use case that is very important for you to make sure that you analyze ahead of time if there are any delivery delays and so that your monitoring mechanism will help address this if there is a delivery delay in the sales order item and you can take appropriate actions so that you can predominantly help your customers and you can take these influencing categories that are available here and then uh, take the necessary steps. This will, in a way, what happens is that it greatly reduces the manual effort 
if this machine learning service is not used, what happens is that on a daily basis, your sales representative or the sales manager, they have to typically track all of these things on a daily basis and then understand which is which of the sales order items are running into issues, which are not, and so on and so forth, which takes a lot of their daily job. But you do not want that to happen. If this machine learning service should be able to provide you ahead of time so that they your sales managers and sales representatives can focus on more important tasks like getting more customers or getting more sales volume into your business. So that is what we are trying to address here. Uh, let us take a quick break and then we come back and then we discuss now on the other aspects of the use case where we will understand how you can um, extract different unstructured data and create a sales order and that is it that requires a little more of deep learning mechanism and hence we developed that as a service as a machine learning service on sap business technology platform and which is consumed by your sap s4 hana stack let us take a quick break and come back All right, welcome back. Let us now continue further. And now we will discuss on the other side of the things. Until now, we have focused more on the, how the sales in the sales line of business, what kind of uh, machine learning scenarios we have implemented that are embedded into the business processes, whether how a particular sales quotation is converted into a sales order, the probability behind that. And then we also discussed about the sales order forecasting, the sales order performance in that aspect. And then once the sales order is created, we also try to discuss about the sales order delivery delays and so on and so forth. Let us now go a bit into the background or one step behind and then see before even a particular sales order is created, what are the different kinds of sources that are available for a particular customer, right? There are different ways a particular sales order information can be available to a business owner, whether it is a small enterprise or whether it is a large enterprise or whether it is a medium enterprise. And you have lots of different kinds of businesses, right? So in that context, let us briefly understand the different data sources or the different ways a particular data sets or particular sales information can be available. And if we can extract the sales information and then create a sales order out of it, what else you could need? The this would be like, um, the best kind of a scenario for a sales representative, right? It would be a boon for a sales representative. They could definitely, out of no way, they, they can save so much of time or the hassle in uh, trying to analyze this information, right? In, generally, what happens, like you might, a, traditionally, a bigger enterprise uh, which has some kind of processes set forward. They have a, an approach or a particular traditional approach where how they can create a sales order and they follow that. But <laughs> typically you will have more than 50% of the times you will have your uh, enterprises typically depending on different kinds of data sources that are coming in where a sales information is being extracted. It might be coming in from phone calls, it might be coming in from email, it might be coming in from different PDFs or fax, and so on and so forth. And these can be in different formats, which are so much unstructured. So all this information has to be analyzed. First, they have to manually extract it and they have to be manually entered by a sales representative into the system and then you have to create a sales order. So this takes a lot of manual effort uh, to enter them into the system. The current service, 
the machine learning service that we have made available is <coughs> available on the SAP Business Technology Platform as a sales order extraction tool or, or more like a document extraction mechanism. And this document extracting extraction mechanism, machine learning service, is consumed by the SAP S4 HANA sales line of business in one of these scenarios where they want to extract the sales order data and create a sales order out of it. So that is what is happening here. So in the long run, what happens is that end of the day, the internal sales representatives or the sales representatives, it would help immensely for them so that they can extracting of this sales order data is automatically done for them. They do not need to manually go into all of this information, but they can go and pick up only those situations where there might still be some issues in the mapping related things, right? There are two steps here. You extract the information and then you create a sales order. While creating of the sales order, you have to map this extracted information into a particular format and create the sales order. So in that mapping mechanism, in some scenarios, if the information is not clear or if it is not complete, those are the places where the machine learning service will provide a message or a mechanism or a recommendation saying that, hey, can you please look into this and uh, maybe this is what you will have to fill out. So those are the kind of the things. So in that way, the sales representative does not need to go through these hundreds or thousands of information uh, and to create the sales order data, but they can only pick and choose those information where they realistically need to go and enter this information. So uh, the huge business benefit here is that obviously the cost savings will be tremendous. You will be saving a lot of time and efforts for the sales representative because they the manual effort to create the sales order is greatly reduced. And obviously the other very important business benefit is that you can greatly improve the data quality when you're creating the sales order because it is kind of automated or in a way it is more like you're extracting the information, understanding what it is there, and then creating the sales order. So in a way, you're automating that or a semi-automating the process. So in the long run, this would tremendously help the, sale, uh, the sales line of business or the sales department in an organization so that they can focus, they can make sure that their sales representatives focus on more important tasks rather than these kind of mundane tasks and then it will greatly help them build their system and then uh, uh, reach their long-term objectives or their main objectives of growing the sales revenue and they can put more efforts over there with this i will take a quick pause and then we will wrap up the session thank you All right, welcome back. So now what we will do, we will wrap this uh, podcast nine and kind of quickly go over what we have discussed and what you can expect in the next couple of sessions going forward. So in this podcast nine, what we have done, we focus predominantly on the sales line of business, which is your breadwinner or which is your front-facing uh, front facing office of your organization, which will make sure that your lights are kept on, right? So your sales uh, line of business. And we've discussed about the use cases that are built around here, how you create a sales quotation, uh, how you create a sales order from a sales quotation, or what is the probability of a sales order getting created from a sales quotation. And then we uh, analyzed the sales performance based out of these sales orders. 
and then we also analyzed and done the predictions based out of if there are any delivery delays on the sales order items so that you can keep your customers happy and these are all these three use cases are kind of embedded into your s4 hana business processes then we also went on to the other side and discussed about the side by side model where the machine learning service is built and that is being consumed by the s4 hana business process and the sales line of business and this is where we have worked on or we have talked about the use case around how you can create a structure a, a sales order from different sales information data right you are getting the information or data from different uh, kinds of information whether it is different unstructured information whether it is email data or phone data or fax data or pdf data or so on and so forth and we kind of understood how this is created and then gave a quick background on that now the in the next couple of sessions or in the next session i would want to wrap this season 1 by discussing on the produce line of business and the use cases around the supply chain and the inventory management line of business and then we'll discuss a brief uh, yeah, the use cases that are available as part of that and then we wrap up the season 1 and then we get into the season 2 where i'm inviting experts from sap from these different technology teams whether it is our islm team or the ai business services team or the s4 hana team or the sap analytics cloud team and how these different services or different machine learning services are built and how they are being leveraged so we'll have kind of a q and a or kind of a quick chit chat kind of a thing and like with the or i would term that as more like an expert chat kind of a thing uh and this uh will uh focus on these in the next quarter uh, in in the q2 which is we are already in q2 so uh, we'll uh, trigger this in may in the next month as always i would want you to provide any feedback if you have any feedback or if you want me to provide more information you can always go back into my blog series and provide feedback over there or provide your thoughts what you expect or you can always reach out to me via email to my sap email or my personal email my sap email id i think you might be aware of it, it is venkata.raghu.banda at sap.com or you can also reach out to me via the personal email address which is ragu.banda at insiad.edu either of these address email addresses you can send me information and then i will try to adapt much of that you can always search up my name or you can even send me a message via the linkedin uh, message and i'm available there as ragu banda additionally i would say i would urge you to go ahead and uh, follow the blog series all of these podcasts are linked up into the blog series and then there will be more updates to the blog series and like i've always mentioned in my earlier podcast to get much more details you can always go and refer to the book that we have released end of last year uh myself and my colleague dr sia surfaris we co-authored a book focused on how you can implement machine learning in sap s4 hana with sap s4 hana right so this talks about the brief background the historical background and the sap's journey into the predictive analytics and machine learning and we discuss about the different approaches available the technical side of the things the architecture and also complete details about this business implementations across all these different lines of businesses and also the industries and also a brief sneak peek into the road map what is coming so that book could also be your go to guide or something like that and which could help you take further 
I really appreciate your time and tuning in and listening in to this session. Thank you all for your time. Have a very good day. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you're dialed in from or listening in from. Happy predicting the future with SAP Technologies. Thank you and bye-bye.